Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase video. I have a real treat for you today. We've got some Craft World Elder for you guys to check out. Now, if you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly, welcome. Uh, here at Siege Studios, we're a UK based premium commission miniature painting service with four levels starting at a bronze premium gaming level, all the way up to platinum, which is competition entry quality. If you're interested in the commission with us here at Siege, then very simply, all you need to do is head to our website, which is linked in the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to our contact form on the website. Complete that by selecting the relevant drop down options for those that are available for your projects and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format once that's done click send and fire that off to us to hear back from us with a quote and get the process started we're back in a second to have a look at these awesome craft world elder in more detail see you guys back in a second So first up, as part of this Craft World Elder Army phase, we have the really imposing Forge World avatar of Kane. Um, Ed is one of the artists that has worked on this project across all the models. Uh, he had a great time working on all the different intricate parts of this model and also the flyers and bikes and rangers that you'll see coming up in the video. Uh, so let's pull forward Mr. Avatar and let's have a look at him. Again, Forge World's uh, model as well. Uh, you can see that lovely, lovely hot, glowing um, sort of magma in between all the cooler parts of the uh, the skin or armor, should I say? It's a bit of both. Um, this huge spear, and I do not joke, it is absolutely massive. Uh, you would not want to get impaled on that. Um, again, you can see the lovely uh, true metallic uh, blade that's been done there with, some, with different uh, metallics and also some black added to it just to darken that down. Um, all the individual little gems and everything across his hide are all painted as you'll see, uh, in a lovely green to complement the red accent colour on the arm, van braces, hands, and also on some of the little uh, quills and things that are here. Uh, but you'll see that glowing hot lava magma across his uh, sort of body, which is obviously what you'd expect from an avatar of Kane. Um, really, really cool pose as well. He's about to just thrust the spear and uh, throw it away. Um, this model was available with a sword as well, as far as I remember, and uh, both look great, but uh, I am a bit favorable of the sword personally. Again, really, really cool uh, pose. Again, as I said, it's just about to throw the, mo throw the spear and give someone a very, very bad day. Uh, I do like all the complementary uh, colours across the model as well, which is really nice. Uh, the reds and greens do really work and don't take away from the uh, from the overall glow and magma kind of lava kind of look of his body as well. But you'll see on the face as well, the hot glowing mouth is open as well with the eyes all painted. Uh, and just to complement and uh, really make them stand out and contrast, the eyes have been painted black as well. Uh, so he's got like obsidian eyes as well, which is really nice. Uh, so this is just the awesome Forge World avatar of Kane. Um, I'm hoping in the future, uh, as, men, as I'm sure many of you are, that we will get a plastic model for the avatar. But uh, in the meantime, this boy is absolutely incredible. Uh, really do love him as a model. Much, much bigger than the um, the really old second edition one as well. So uh, it really makes this model uh, and, and character more imposing on a tabletop as well. Awesome, awesome model. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at all the infantry from this force. And there's a load of rangers coming up, so stick around. They're coming up shortly. So next up, we have all of the infantry from this Elder Craft World uh, army. Uh, we've got 15 rangers, uh, really, really cool models. Uh, I do like specifically the crouching pose. I think it's probably my favorite out of all of them. Uh, but it's done a stellar job in just picking out every little bit of detail on these. Oh, we'll just get that to focus for you guys so you can see. Uh, but again, a really lovely, lovely model, just sort of taking out a target there, as you'll see. Uh, all the little lenses and everything all painted on them as well, the gems and vials and things, all the cloaks as well, done in a lovely green, dark green color. All the pouches and bits and bobs are all painted in this. It's lovely brown as well, which is nice. Uh, but overall, really, really cool model. All the scopes and everything, all the lenses done on the scopes. All the little um, uh, spirit stones as well are all painted, plus obviously the lenses on any sort of uh, bionics or things that they've got as well, which is cool. Uh, just pull forward a variation of them so you can see them. Obviously, these are fine cast models. Uh, they aren't metal, uh, just so you can see them. Let's get that to focus a bit better for you guys. There we go. Uh, and you see every little detail. It's done a stellar job of picking those out. Um, just some uh, some like blue lines and things to break up the, the marks on the, on the cloaks as well, just to help give them a bit of a camo pattern, uh, just to match up and marry into our client requested scheme but you'll see that red body armor there and also yellow face plates across any that have those so that's just the leader from that squad or the squad leader pull a few forward from just in general shooting poses here as you'll see but every detail painted to a lovely fashion with highlighting done on all it as well no details missed and there's consistency from model to model across the force so you can match these squads up quite nicely 
Um, and we'll just pull forward a few of the different poses. Obviously, there's quite a few similar poses in this force, but that's purely because obviously there's a vast amount of models from the range and the poses are quite limited. Uh, so that's just another one of the, uh, the rangers here. And then move through to the other squad here, the other pose type. Very dark cowling there, as you'll see, but the uh, face is painted. There's a face in there as well. Uh, but it's quite deep actually in that hood, but there is a face on there that's been painted with the eyes and everything. Uh, again, all the backpacks and everything all fully painted there, as you'll see in a really, really clean fashion. Very, very nice scheme as well. Quite dark, which is quite cool. Uh, matches their stealthy nature of these Rangers. Uh, it's just another one here, as you'll see. So that's just him. Uh, and the final one, let's pull forward the other uh, squad leader just so you can have a look at him in the same pose as the first one. But uh, again, picked out in a really lovely fashion. And uh, you can mix and match these all around without any fear of units not matching each other and um, there's consistency across them all last up we've got the awesome flyers coming up and also the jet bikes to so stick around they're up next see you guys back in a second so next up, let's have a look at all of the jet bikes and the flyers from this Craftworld Elder Army phase. Uh, really nice selection of models. Uh, obviously, we've got the new jet bikes uh, and also the lovely, lovely Crimson Hunter fighter. Um, again, you've probably seen it in other videos when we've done this model, but it's probably one of my favourite 40k flyers. Really, really cool looking plane that just looks like it comes out of um, a Russian Sukhoi factory. Uh, so really, really lovely aircraft. Um, let's have a look at the jet bikes first. Our client's gone for a really, really cool alternating colour scheme here. You've got this red and yellow when it decides to focus. There we go. Uh, you've got this alternating red and yellow scheme with all the fins and everything done in yellow and like ailerons and stuff on the bikes, plus independent um, nose art as well and all of these. Uh, and that's to denote squads for the purposes of playing the game. You obviously see there's three of each. We've got a single line, double line, and also an X as well, as you'll see. But every little detail painted, the screens, lights, buttons, and dials on all of them, all fully painted as well, which is really lovely. Uh, super sharp and clean work that Ed has done on these. Uh, so that's just one of the jet bikes. Um, obviously, you've seen the nose art on a couple of others. We will pull forward one of the ones with the X on it as well, just so you can see that. But again, a lovely, lovely clean finish on all of these uh, and the sort of red armor panels on the actual riders and yellow undergarment as well. Uh, again, using that really, really cool color scheme that our client has sent us in. Uh, so that is just the jet bikes. Then let's have a look at the uh, aircraft from this force. Again, really, really lovely plane uh, in that deep, deep crimson color. Uh, you'll see all those ailerons and everything all done in that alternating black and also ivory colorway, which is nice. Transfers and everything added to these as well. Um, we've got green sort of green sort of colored cockpits as well just add, so you can obviously just sit, distinguish the cockpit quite nicely for the rest of the fuselage uh, underneath oh god that's not over a bike underneath we've got um a lovely cream belly as you'll see here and all the weapons are fully magnetized as well for our clients so they can change them around uh, for gaming as well beautiful beautiful fighter uh, really really elegant and uh, again my favorite from the 40k range of all the flyers same again on the other one here as you'll see uh, again the transfers and everything added to these as well super sharp edge highlighting across all the armor panels a lovely subtle gradient on the higher points and darker points of the armor of this fighter as well uh, and you'll see all the transfers again all added there but all the ailerons and everything fully painted in this lovely lovely correspond corresponding tan and uh, black scheme as well super super smooth finish as well on these models uh, so that's just this awesome set of flyers and also jet bikes from this uh, craft world elder army phase uh, we're back in a second to have a look at the whole army all again in all its glory so stick around and you can find out how to take out a project whether that's a bit of character small force or large army see you guys back in a sec so thanks for checking the video out guys, I really do appreciate it and I do hope that you have liked these awesome Craft World Elder that has been completed by Ed, one of the artists here at Siege. If you're interested in a commission with us, be it for a character, small force or vast army like this, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote, click on that link, it takes you directly to our website's contact form and once there, select the relevant drop down options from those that are available and also in the message section, include a list of models uh, in our model list format and fire that off to us to get the process started. While you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favor, give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you can be notified when all our new videos do go up on the channel. And finally, in the description of the video, you'll find the links to all of our other social media, so Instagram, Twitter, and also Facebook. You can, if you can go give us a like and follow respectively on those, you can keep up to date with everything that goes on here at Siege and all the different projects that we produce. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care, bye-bye.